Hey guys, it's a uh, pretty nice evening here in the north. We're gonna stop at this beaver colony here behind me. I seen a real big beaver in here last night. He was uh, a little far to shoot. You know, I wouldn't have been able to get him out of there if I did shoot him. So I come back tonight. I'm gonna set a trap for this beaver. You know, I really want to catch that big beaver and get him in the fur shed. You know, I want his pelt. So right now I'm just constructing a simple A-frame set. This 30 Connie Bear you could get. So this trap is going to get submerged on the run over there. I'm just going to poke around with a stick a little bit and, and find where I want to place my set. So you see how I got that all set up? Wire it right on your spring. Wrap her around, keep her out of your way. Now I'm gonna take the safety lock off of here. I'm gonna submerge my trap right on there run. trap here. I didn't check it here yet. As I walked up onto the beaver house here, there must have been a beaver inside of it. I seen bubbles come right out of this little run set here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see all that turned up mud under there? 
underneath the water. There must be another run right there. I just seen bubbles coming up all under the ice. Then it went off that way somewhere. Probably went and hid in one of his bank houses or something. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll pull up my trap and have a check. It, don't, it doesn't look too disturbed, so there's probably fuck all in it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna put another one right there. I'm gonna put another one right on this entrance way here. We'll cover up these three runs right around the house, and you know, I, I gotta get this guy, you know. Then I'll get that set, and we'll come back later on tonight, and we'll check again, and we'll sit and hunt this big super blanket here. It looked like a pretty big beaver, and I seen a big old head on him, you know. So, like I said, I really want this beaver. So, I'm gonna work hard to get him. It was a nice, a nice one, a big one. Yeah, you see, it froze last night, so we got a layer of ice, probably a quarter inch thick. So you see, that's why I can't, uh, I can't be setting too many traps on land like I usually do. So they all got to be submerged because it's still freezing out in the evening anyways. Hopefully all this melts away. You know, all this here was open yesterday and now it's, it's all froze over again. So, it's still early in the season anyways, early in the spring. the other run last night I would have got this beaver. So you see here this pole will just run through both springs. Leave a little bit so you can stick it in the mud and then you wire your two springs to keep your trap from falling. I'll put one more on this spring here just so the, the trap won't twist so it won't swivel. You know you want it to be solid on there huh? set for now. I'll put another one right out there. I'll get another pole. I'll do it the exact same way. So a beaver came right out of that run there. That's where one of his holes is. And he went around the front 
of the beaver house. Like I said, I seen him, I scared him out of his house and I seen bubbles coming up from under the ice, under the water, and <clears throat> I also seen the, the the water was was disturbed, you know, it made mud when he, as he went by. So right here, you feel around, right there, that's his run in front of his house. So, it's about a foot wide and a foot deeper. So, right here is where I'm gonna put my next trap. I'll do it the same as I did the other one. I'm gonna let it sit and hopefully that beaver comes back and who knows, maybe we'll have him by tonight. If we don't have him by tonight, we should have him by morning. You know, this is, these are gonna be two really nice sets. So, I'm pretty confident that we'll get this beaver. I really like using these uh, 330 bellicels. You know, they got really good safety locks on them. They're the only 330 that I came across that has decent locks that stay locked. You know, all the Savago, the Dukes, you know, they all got really poor locks. They flip, they flip off as you're setting them. These ones actually stay when you set your trap. You know, they don't fucking slide all over the place or slide off. So, I really like them. See, the locks actually stay on. They don't swivel down and get tangled on shit. So, these are probably my favorite 330s to use. I haven't really used those Savago much, actually. You know, I just uh, I just got a few, so. Always put it on the second setting, so you get more uh, whack when the trap goes off. This trap here that I'm using has caught a lot of beaver in it. I think I even caught a couple wolverines. I know that because I only have two traps with homemade chains on them. Just an old dog chain that I uh, rigged up on and wired on a good so. trap off on the tree and uh, got one there one there that one's over the entrance way in the hole where the beaver came out this one's on a beaver run where I seen him go under the ice so good so these here these are two really nice sets on the runs you know run sets they never they, they produce pretty good actually you know like I said I can't be uh, setting on land like I usually do. It freezes at night, makes ice, ice. The ice freezes my traps in and, and they don't produce nothing. So I gotta go under the water for now. I don't like, usually like doing run sets cause it's a pain in the ass. Uh, you know, you gotta find the run, dig around. Uh, there's all kinds of sticks and shit under there that traps get caught on and all kinds of good shit. I find it, just as effective to set it on land and bait them with sticks and beaver caster. That's probably my favorite way to do it. So, but these two traps here, one of these traps should produce a beaver. I don't know how many beaver are, on, are in this uh, this pond here. You know, I've taken a few out of here over the years. You know, there's a few. There's another beaver house behind me, about 50 yards in the middle there. I can't get to it though, so come back tonight, we'll check these traps here and who knows, maybe we got a beaver. 
I'd be pretty surprised if we didn't get a beaver in one of these sets in the next couple days. You know, I'm pretty confident by tomorrow morning we should have a beaver in one of these sets. So we'll come back tonight, we'll hunt this pond a little bit, uh, maybe set a few more traps, hopefully some of this ice has gone a little more. If tomorrow morning we don't get a beaver in one of these sets, we'll fucking lace this whole area with traps, you know, fuck it. Set a half a dozen here, like I said, I want that big, big beaver I seen the other day, you know, he looked like a super blanket, you know, really big old boy, him. So, he's already dead, he just don't know it yet. He's pelt me in my skinning shock here in a week's time. It's got to be patient and work at it, huh? Shit don't happen just overnight, most times. Sometimes it does, but a lot of times it don't. So, it's got to be patient and work him. That's all you can do, you know, just work them. You'll get them. Okay, guys, keep a positive attitude, and uh, we'll talk to you very soon.